हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सी एस एन आई टी ट्यूटोरियल बाय वृशाली इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट एग्जैक्टली ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एंड व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट फंक्शंस ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम विद सिंपल एग्जांपल्स आई हैव अटैच अ कंप्लीट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम सब्जेक्ट प्ले लिंक इन बिलो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स नाउ इन टूडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज वॉट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम विद सम सिंपल एग्जाम्पल्स now let's see so previously we have already discussed all the subjects with simple examples and practical demos please share my channel with your friends and subscribe it so that will be beneficial for everyone okay now let's understand different types of operating system the first type is called as batch operating system which is one of the oldest type of os which was invented in 1950 see here in this diagram in batch os user are not directly interacted with the computer they interacted with the operator let's take a example suppose these two user want to execute c programming file so they send their job to the operator now these two user want to execute ruby programming file so again they send their job to this operator now the responsibility of operator is to make a group of similar types of instruction and maintain the batches means this two user want to execute c programming file so they make a batch of this similar types of instruction in this way they make a multiple batches and this batches send forward to the computer here operating system execute all these batches one by one also user can't get the result instantly user get the result after some time this batch operating system concept generally used in some earliest ibm mainframe systems now what are the advantages and disadvantages of this one of the main advantage is they make a group of similar types of instructions that's why it is a suitable for large and repetitive jobs again they make a batches they provide efficient cpu processing power and other resources now what are the disadvantages of this the main disadvantage is user are not directly interacted with the operating system again the next reason is errors have detected after the jobs have executed also it required very high setup and maintenance cost so this is called as batch operating system now the next type of operating system is called as time sharing operating system which was invented in 1960 see here this concept is called time sharing means operating system allow multiple users use the computer at the same time suppose this user want to use word document again want to send a email and also browsing a particular website so all the tasks are performed at the same time operating system give cpu processing power to each and every task equally that's why it provide a quick response time to the user this concept generally used in unix and linux operating system and also some oldest version of windows operating system like windows 2000 server and windows nt server so what are the advantages and disadvantages of it see multiple users are connected to the same system right but there is a efficient cpu processing power to each and every user that's why they will get the quick response time and quick result and multiple users work on the same system these are the advantages of this but now what are the disadvantages the main thing is this setup is very complex to maintain and manage also all the users are attached to the same system that's why there will be a security and data privacy issue sometimes what happen too many users are connected to the same system that's why performance and execution was slow down also it required very high cost and maintenance setup so this is called as time sharing operating system now the next type is distributed operating system the distributed means multiple computers are connected to the one single system this is called as distributed operating system 
I will give you one of the best example like Google search system. When you search something on Google, you will get the result instantly, right? So similarly, multiple users search on the Google at the same time. So Google having multiple servers, multiple nodes are there. They serve each and every user equally instantly. So again, this concept used in different online multiplayer games and cloud computing systems like AWS, Microsoft Azure. The main reason is in distributed operating system, they share all the resources like memory, storage, processing power equally to all the other nodes. That's why this concept used by till date. Now, what are the advantages of this? See, multiple computers and nodes are connected with the single system. That's why they share all the resources like files, printer, CPU, right? Also, they have a high processing power and complete tasks have divided into the multiple computers and nodes. That's why it get the quick result, quick response time is there. Again, another advantage is it provides a high reliability. If one system is fail in network, still others can continuously doing their work. And it is very scalable. You can add multiple devices anytime in network. Now, what are the disadvantages? The main thing is all this setup, their maintenance is very expensive. Also, multiple nodes serve to the user. So that's why there was a security issue between the system. So this is called as distributed operating system. Now, the next type is real time operating system that was invented in 1990 and used by till date. The main concept of real time operating system, they give the result on exact time. Let's take an example. Suppose in medical equipments like heart monitor. So heart monitor give the result of particular patient on time, right? If there will be a small delay that causes the problem or failure, right? So this is the uh, this is the reason of real time operating system. They give the data, they predict the data real time. Again, this concept mainly used in military and defense system. They track unlegal and uncontrolled data. Again, used in flight control systems, traffic light control systems, and also airbag in car. Basically, they give you a real time and accurate data. This is called as real time operating system. Again, these are the some OS like VXWorks, QNX. They implement this real time operating system concept. Now, what are the advantages of this? Basically, obviously, the main advantage is they provide a quick and timely response to the user. It is very highly reliable and stable system and also mainly used in time critical applications like in defense, military or in hospitals and medical data. They require data real time, accurate data, right? Again, what are the disadvantages of operating system? So sometimes it is very complex to design and develop. Also, it is very expensive setup and maintenance. This real time operating system generally used for only time critical applications. That's why limited tasks can be run on the system. This is called as time sharing system. Now, the next one is mobile operating system. I think we all are familiar with the mobile operating system that was invented in 1990 to till date. We all are used the mobiles. There was Android operating system, iOS, Harmony OS and Web OS is there, right? We use different types of features in our mobile like touch screens, then chatting, messaging, calling, uh, wireless networks having there and again many more features are there. So these features are maintained by mobile operating system. Basically, this work like a specialized software to manage all the hardware and software of particular mobile devices. Again, next and last type of operating system is called as network operating system. I think you have already learned in computer network. Multiple computers are connected in one single network, right? 
and this computer shares files printers and other resources with each other so this all network communication is managed by network operating system there are novel netware then microsoft windows server linux cisco ios they implement this network communication efficiently and accurately again this network operating system and net different types of networks like wlan wan man they use this os to maintain the proper communication that was also used in school college labs banking system and different corporate office networks so this is all about types of operating system in previous session they asked the questions like def define operating system or discuss types of operating system for five marks so here you have to explain all the types with proper simple diagram and examples again they ask explain batch operating system with example for five marks so here you have to explain what exactly batch os their diagram and advantages disadvantages with examples so prepare all the types of operating systems so this is all about thank you